Good morning! And the first thing you might notice that's different about me is that I've coloured my hair in red and got my boyfriend to chop a load off the back of it as well so it's shorter and redder. But anyway, I didn't vlog yesterday but you may remember from my previous upload I was getting very, very excited because I have recently received an offer on my house which has been on sale for ages and I've accepted that offer and I'm kind of waiting to see what happened next. Well, I sorted out a solicitor, which was a local one, and they sent me a great big enormous load of paperwork, which I haven't had a chance to go through yet, but I have it on my table. I shall tell you if there's anything of any significance in there. I've never sold a house before, and this is all a bit of a new experience for me, but I shall let you know what happens as it happens, and then, and then maybe you can know what to do to sell a house if you've never sold one before. But right now it's about 25 past 11. Izzy's got a class in the evening, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and visit my dad and hopefully catch up with my mum as well for an hour and a half or so en route to said lesson, which is brilliant because I've been wanting to catch up with them both for ages anyway. In the meantime, I've got quite a bit of flute practice to get on with because I've got a biggish relatively big gig for me coming up next weekend, so I need to be working for that this week. Um, I've also, by the way, fitted in some house viewings for tomorrow. So tonight, after Izzy's class, Izzy and I are going to go back and stay at my dad's house. And then we're going to all go together, the three of us, the next morning to view about five properties. And I will vlog, but I obviously won't be able to film where they are. And I won't be able to film in the people's houses. But I can give you some feedback after each one. It'll probably be very helpful for me as well to go back and uh, remember it all. I'm going to have to put the rubbish out before I go. I'm going to put the kettle on first though. Coffee needed. The lid broke on my kettle some time ago. It won't um, lift up. This, it used to pop up. <laughs> no, it doesn't, so I just have to fill it up by wedging the tap in the top of it. But it's definitely not broken enough to justify buying another one because it still works just fine. I suppose I might as well do those bins now while uh, I'm waiting for that to boil. I see lots of you putting out your trash slash rubbish in your videos and everyone seems to do it a bit differently all around the world and for us we have doorstep recycling collections once a week and every other week we have like general waste which is the black bag collection that's just once a week and the idea is that we reduce the landfill waste and get it down to just recycling if possible so we have collections one bag is like paper and card there's another bag for metal, plastic and glass and then there's a bag for food waste and you could also do garden waste as well but I've got a compost bin so I don't bother with that one. There they are by the door waiting to go out later when we leave the house. I've lost track of when black bag day actually is. I normally uh, have a sneaky look at the neighbours to see if they're out or not in the evening but we're not going to be here in the evening. I've only got half a bag anyway, it could wait another fortnight. It's out the back in a black plastic bin. I'm rather hoping that my next kitchen in my next house will have room for proper bins, not just this arrangement which is, yeah, a bit unsightly. These have definitely had their day, they're all split and cracked but I'm not going to replace them now. Anyway, I'm going to get a quick coffee and go upstairs and get to work on this uh, set for next Friday. It's in my Portugal mug, look, here we are, to remind me of Portugal when I'm feeling the saudade. or something always goes off when I'm practicing. Um, that was my dad. We thought for a moment I'd um, mucked up all the schedule for tomorrow to go viewing the houses because he had an appointment for something in the morning. But it turns out I was right all along. Yay! <laughs> Yippee! But we had a little panic for a minute there. It was fine. I don't quite know where the panic came from. Anyway, I'm going to crack on now. I'm doing technical exercises at the moment. I like to do a really good warm-up when possible if I've got bigger gigs coming up. If it's just Katie's, I don't always do it. I used to. It's only when I started home editing, really, and I just had to really, really condense down my practice, really, and had to sacrifice a lot of it and my technique. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I do Trevor Y exercises. I might... I'll tell you what, I'll leave some links 
in the description to the Trevor Wide books, just in case anybody's interested in flute and that's why they're following my channel. Let me know if you are, if you're a flautist, I'd love to know. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my warm-up now and then start working on the repertoire. Back we go, I like 138 best. I know, I spent a long time playing along with this over the years. It can be a bit of a solitary pursuit practicing and you know, over the years sometimes that has been like a companion to me. <laughs> it's very good though, in all seriousness, playing with a metronome forces you to listen. And if you try and practice with a metronome and you think, that metronome's speeding up or slowing down, I can guarantee you, unless the metronome is actually broken, it isn't. It's you not listening. And when I first started with a metronome all those years ago, oh, when I was like nine or whenever I had one, I had that and I've just realised, taken that as a message to myself that I'm not listening properly and I really really think it's been hugely valuable to practice with the metronome and I still do it almost every time I practice now. And I've been doing it a long time! <laughs> the point being about the metronome of course, you know, about you not listening if you can't play in time is then when you come to play with other real human beings and you do the same thing with them, you don't stick on their beat that can be really difficult and the group just can't bond properly musically unless the person who's not listening is quite dominant and everybody else is astute enough to be able to follow them. Then it still works. But you can only have one of those in each group. rusty on these exercises because I just had three colds or something that lasted about three months and so I've been only practicing necessary things really but uh, I'm getting back into it now it does wonders for your technique it really does I can, cannot recommend it enough I've been at it about an hour now in fact I got so carried away with the technique I haven't even started the band stuff yet I just took a little break to top up my coffee got some decaf this time don't want to overdo it the teenager has rarely emerged from her lair this morning. She's been Skyping a friend for ages, I think. I just went in to check how she was doing. She was still in her pyjamas. Oh well, everyone needs a pyjama morning sometimes. Anyway, let's get back to it. Emergency banana. Right, I've practiced. I'm gonna eat this very quickly and then clean up my kitchen. off to my dad's now he's cooking us lunch and my mum's gonna be there too which will be lovely just had a nice lunch with my family I'm just making tea for everybody and before long I'm gonna be heading off to Izzy's class dad's giving us a lift today I'm assembling flat pack furniture today at group I took this over from someone else yesterday so I haven't done most of it on to hingy bits now for the cupboard door it's gonna be that when it's done an office desk there are two more to make, including this, and one's already been done. So that should keep me busy for a few hours. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Ta-da! It's the cover bit, now for the drawer. I think it's quite good. That looks like that could come up a bit, I think. A bit fine adjusting now. Well, I finished Izzy's class now. I just spent three hours assembling two desks. Well, I finished off the desk that I started yesterday and, and did one entirely from scratch as well. So I'm feeling quite pleased with myself. And we're waiting at the train station and we're going back to my dad's now, not home, which is a lot closer than our actual home. So that's a bit of a, a bit off the load. Quite nice. On the train home. It's quite quiet this evening. Have you got nail polish on? Yes, I did oh, it see. ages ago. Oh, it's coming off and now, it's is it? It's mostly come off. <laughs> That's a very pretty toilet door. It's got Tenby on it, look. No, the toilet is not going to get married soon. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. How do you know? I know oh, these things. Can you imagine it down the walking down the aisle with a veil on? Is it going like this? 
to sort of hop on its pedestal, wouldn't it? I'm back at Dad's house now. We're just having a little bit of a think about what to have for tea. Isabel doesn't like anything Granddaddy's suggesting, which is very awkward. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog there. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and hit the like button if you liked it because it helps the channel to grow. And I'll see you in the next one.